That thing looks good. So, oh my goodness. I did finally get the X18 uh, pocket bike swing arm from my boy Juan. Appreciate it. So, I was going to bolt it down here in the factory uh, bolts that the wheels bolt to, but it's going to put it up at too much of an angle. So, since we have the disc brake bracket and the top right here, I want to see if I can drill some holes and mount it up top, and then that should bring it out to roughly a straight angle with the height that I want to run, which is, you know, as low as possible. Let's get the hole drilled down there. Let's figure out what a drill on the other side. right now the swing arm is just soft mounted so for now that's good uh, next I'm switching from the no suspension front forks to some 49 cc front forks and these wheels barely fit in here uh, the triple trees are off because the top triple tree, you don't have any room to mount uh, handlebars because you got no big holes in it. So my idea is to move the top triple tree to the bottom, move the bottom triple tree to the top, and then look, ooh, all that space to mount handlebars. So I was like, hmm, can I actually mount handlebars on there? And it's just enough room to mount handlebars on the bottom triple tree. So let's get everything reassembled and get it on the bike. We're gonna take the old ones off, put these on really fast, and we're gonna see how it looks. So this is how it looks with the pocket bike front forks, the 49cc pocket bike front fork and wheel. And with the X8, I believe, rear swing on. And I mean, I think that looks pretty awesome. I didn't know how I felt about the box uh, swing on with the round frame but this whole thing like the stance on this thing is mean like that is wicked that thing looks good like, oh my goodness all right so it's time to drill some holes for the handlebars i marked their center of where i want them to be so now it's just time to do some drilling <laughs>
But I mean, it looks it looks all right. But yeah, I don't I don't love those handlebars uh, at all. I hate them. I hate them a lot, actually. My tires did come in. I went with a 13070 10 rear and a 3010 in the front. So that should add about an inch of tire height in the rear and about probably an inch, inch and a half of tire height in the front. But they're close to being the same height themselves, which is kind of what I was going for. Uh, and that should also raise the bike up about an inch, give me a little bit more ground clearance while still looking low. Uh, I did order a shock for the rear, which should be about right. Hopefully 750 pound shock is what I need. I don't have the slightest idea. Uh, online, online, YouTube, and Google did not help. But I do have some stuff coming for the motor. Uh, so hopefully... In the next episode, we can get some more stuff done. But this is how it looks right now. And we'll see what else we get done.